Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I got an interesting video for you. I'm going to be working on fixing a deck that is rusted out a little bit here on a tractor. This is the tractor. It's a Simplicity Broadmoor, and uh, apparently it's a 15 horsepower. It's got a Briggs Vanguard, pretty good engine, pretty good tractor, really. Heavy built hydro. Here's the deck. Uh, pretty nice shape. I cleaned all the grass off of it. We got some rust here and that's basically why the price wasn't too bad on this tractor. So uh, I'm going to use my method. We're going to go through this and get it all straightened out. So the first step, what we're going to do is prepare the metal. So I put a piece of 16 gauge on here and to figure out this angle, I'm going to take this file which is pretty straight. We're going to set this on here and mark it. So we'll grind that off. That will move us over and we still have enough room. So I'm going to get that cut. Next step, we're going to mark the perimeter of this patch. just so I can see where I need to sand. All right, we got a little bit of a high spot. See if I have a ground here. Looks like I do. Now what I want to do is try and curve this over. We've got a little bit of a curve going on on the front of this deck. Kind of rounds over here. Can't be afraid to hit it. Show you that on a different angle. Ah, hopefully you can see it. I got it bent over there with that hammer. Now we're going to weld that as well. Now I got that plate on there, we're going to sink it. So you want to do your cutting at a 45 degree angle.
now on this corner we're through the metal. So what we want to do, take our hammer. put it right down in there All right, so I've cut away a little more than half of this. And now what I'm gonna do is continue putting pressure down, evening out the surface, and I'm going to be tack welding. All right, so now I've cut everything except up in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there. And I'm going to take my hammer and try and lower this down. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to just keep tacking the back. I think you get the idea. It's the matter of just filling in wherever it's not welding, kind of skipping around. I don't have to worry about it warping because this metal's pretty thick. I've gone through, I've welded, now I'm gonna hit it with the flap disc. Moving up to the 7 inch grinder and 24 grit. I should have done this before. Now, just for video's sake, 
I got some pinholes here. Don't need to do it, but I'm going to touch them up with some weld and come back and grind it. It's only going to take about three more minutes. All right, guys. So uh, I got this all wrapped up. You got to keep in mind this isn't an auto body repair, but that's kind of how we made it. There's a little bit of a ledge here that I didn't get out, but you could see how the metal goes straight down here, and this is without any filler, so you can't tell where it blends together and that's why we cut at that 45 degree angle and uh, that dropped in real nice and it looks real good and it's solid as can be fortunately we had this bracket here so I couldn't quite do that end but uh, I welded it and it's super strong it should be a good repair I'm gonna put a little paint on it because uh, this tractor is really nice. It's uh, hydrostatic, and uh, you know they don't make them like they used to, and that's really true. Electric PTO, Vanguard engine. It's a single cylinder, but this is such a good engine. It runs really smooth, a lot better than those uh, Intex. Um, it's got a newer battery and uh, real heavy transaxle on there. So I'm not even sure what year this thing is. 01 2001 so 19 years old and uh, we got it back in shape the decks actually really thick it also has that roller on the back and um, I sharpened the blades and I replaced uh, three of the baffles inside because they were rusted out as well the problem was the guy was using a mulch plate probably for 19 years and all that wet grass just uh, you know did a job on the deck and that's why he wanted to get rid of it so uh, anyhow I'm double wide six and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video um, I am not a metalwork specialist I just kind of tinker around and it's really not that hard to do you can do most of this stuff with a grinder and uh, some sanding discs and I'll link some of those products down below I think I'll hit this with some primer and some paint and we'll get it back on the tractor Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.